Hello there and welcome everybody, it's Avid Expert. Today I'm going to be going over a bunch of the trailers, screenshots, tapes and various other media that we have seen and linking them all together and showing consistencies and inconsistencies between them. And also it kind of authenticates a few images and links a few things together that you may not have seen before. Now don't forget as well, volume 9 and 10 of the tapes should be released in the next day. It should either be tomorrow or the day after at most, so look forward to seeing that on this channel. But without any further delay, let's get right into the video. So the first thing I want to point out is in the Resident Evil 4 tape stock up, there was basically a part where you go through into the garage and you unlock a door. And people were speculating whether this is the actual door in the garage in tape 2. And I can confirm, as you can see in this screenshot, we have the same door. The shutter has been opened, the seal has been broken on the button and we have pressed it and opened it up. However, I'm starting to build a timeline of what's going on here and this is actually before the events of Jack coming in and we can prove this here because you can see that the car is on the right side of the garage itself and there is another scene of the car on fire on the left side of the garage and that basically confirms that the timeline of the cop was before Jack arrived and that kind of says that the cop was probably murdered outside, you know, by Jack afterwards and we heard it and the shutters closed which ensues with us battling Jack and trying to take him out and escape the house which as we saw Previously, we get a save for that, which is literally the objective. So a lot of people were confused if this image was also authentic, but I think this is actually from the same house, but maybe in a different timeline during a VHS tape or something, because it obviously looks a lot more pristine. However, take note of the grandfather clock, the clock next to it on the wall, and also the little end table with the lamp on it. And also look at the arcway very closely. And one thing to also take note of is the carpet itself. So take a physical note of all of those features, take it into your mind, and then look at this next image, which is from a from Mitsu article and you can see the clock in the background there as well as the archway which looks exactly the same. You can also see the carpet that's even there as well in the first image. The only thing missing is the grandfather clock however if you go to the tape 2 there is these two screenshots I took where you can see the same location once again with the grandfather clock. The lamp is there as well with the end table and the clock in the same placement as well as if you look at the tape you can also see the archway is the same once again. Now this is actually really really interesting because if you look at the image again it's a very pristine and clean environment but you've got an axe so how far are we going back here and how exactly do we have an axe what's going on why would you be in a you know a time zone where it looks like everything's still kept and not neglected and you need an axe in the house there's so many variations of theories on what this could be i'm not going to speculate into that at all it could be lucas baker etc but to be honest as well and this is unlikely it could just be an area that's been revamped by the developers you know had a few things changed in it just to showcase the graphics and some of the features. I really doubt that that's the case, but it could be the what it is. But I'm sure it's enough to pique your interest at least, and I thought it was enough to show on here. Okay, so on the same subject of time being a little bit inconsistent in this game, you know, with the game going back and forth, we first see Jack coming through the wall in the Tape 2 trailer and breaking it, and he has a shovel in tow. And if you remember in the actual Immortality trailer, he basically has a paint roller with nails, and he's got his shirt off. Now, he has his shirt on in the original image, as well as having a shovel, so he's lost some clothes and completely changed his weapon. This would imply that, obviously, when he breaks through the wall, as we saw, the wall was actually broken in the Immortality, trailer he's done some combat lost his clothes got a new weapon and completely tried to come back now if we remember as well jack did actually lose his shirt but his pants kept on when he got burnt from the car itself and he lost his weapon as well however his skin has completely healed which just kind of shows you the power of this virus whatever it is so in these next images we get to see that the intercom is active on the mansion and we can use it and that we do actually use it and if you take the story elements into context such as the fact that we're shooting into people and blowing them up and they're still reviving and coming back at you with fucking paint rollers with nails attached to them. I think you can probably assume that going around to one of the houses and using the intercom is probably something you wouldn't do. This is definitely an image from before anything has really happened. This might actually be a reference to the Volume 5 survival tape and gaining access to the yard by getting the dog's head. Maybe we have to get the dog's head to get inside the mansion, which would imply we're kind of working with somebody, you know, I don't really think there's a gate mechanism with an intercom that works off of a dog's head but you know possibly that could be a thing and I think it's more than likely we're working with somebody at this point so guys that's all I've got to show you today I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video to be honest I put a lot of effort into making this there was a lot of analysis and review you know going through all the pictures together and correlating and connecting it all together I hope you're all having a beautiful day as always if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a subscribe and take it easy for now and peace